Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Things are getting kind of wild. We discovered a brand new type of Pikmin, the blue Pikmin, so that's very exciting. We also learned that this maybe Captain Olimar fellow is a little bit of a thief and he stole our juice buffer and that made Brittany very mad. So we're going to land back in the Garden of Hope where he landed the Drake without our consent. Always get consent, folks. So we can find the Hokitation. Made a pretty good amount of progress. What I think is really nice is just kind of how the game opens up. Also, the onion is absolutely huge. So if you thought there was an onion booty before, you check out this bad boy right now. So I think it's really nice how the game really opens up at this point and you can kind of see new areas that we obviously weren't able to explore and traverse before. Now, one of the things that we really have to make haste and do a good job of with today is we're going to want to get a pretty hefty amount. Might as well just get like, I don't know, let's do 75 blue and 25 pink. We'll do that for now because we're going to need to get a lot of the bridge pieces, which in this case aren't really technically bridge pieces. They're porcelain pieces. These porcelain pieces are going to be used to complete this pot over here and then also there's some bridge pieces that we're going to be going for so i'm going to go ahead and split up the forces here and we'll have alf take the blues with charlie and we'll go get some work done for now Brittany can hang tight for a moment but we have porcelain pieces that are here and we were able to clear out all of the baddies in this area It'd be nice if I wouldn't try to charge Charlie. For some reason, that's not very effective. Yeah, so that's very good. That's a good start. We're going to need to do a lot of work with the blues. We're going to be very careful not to traverse too many areas that are bad news. Although we will need to do that anyway. Because in order to finish this porcelain pot... Nope, 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 we are going to have to collect pieces which are behind a very turdish enemy. It's right here. I don't quite remember how to fight him. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think he has... He doesn't like it when you attack his eyeballs. I think that's what it is. It's kind of a mini boss. I don't quite remember how to fight him. So this may or may not go well. So in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and attack him. Okay, so that went really poorly. It does not appear that that actually is doing anything. Okay. I don't want him to eat any of our Pikmin. Oh, we knocked one of his eyeballs out. That's pretty neat. Oop. Go ahead and attack his eyes. Attack his weak spot for massive damage. Okay. So I don't know what has to be... Oh. I feel like we maybe we have to get both of his eyeballs out before we can start to do damage to him, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, that seemed to be good. Let's do... Let's go ahead and get him. He's very weak now. I didn't do very much, though, surprisingly. Okay. So we'll try that again. Let's go for the eyeballs. Seems like that's kind of the way to go. He doesn't like that very much. We'll get him, though. We're getting him. Oh, we're getting him. Yes. All right, everybody get him. Seems like this is going to be a fight that might take a little bit of time. This mini boss is... Seems to be a little, uh... A little finicky. This is... Oh. He's facing away from us. So he's... Okay. We don't want him to eat our Pikmin. We prefer him not to do that. Okay. Seems to keep attacking his eyeballs. This is all just in a quest to get more porcelain pieces. So we'll... We keep attacking him this way. Whistle our blues back. As many as we can. Let's go, everybody. Okay. So this is... We're all getting a little discombobulated here. We're getting a little discombobulated. Let's run back. Let's run back. Stop eating our Pikmin. This is all kind of funny, though, too, if you think about it. Because, like, literally this guy is just, like, hanging out. And, you know, he's just having a good old time. Just chilling out. And, and <laughs> our Pikmin are getting distracted as we're trying to fight this thing. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world for them to do. 
You know, they're getting distracted while they're trying to kill this gigantic lobster. Okay, you know what would be good? Let's carry some puzzle pieces. Or bridge, see? I'm getting confused too in this in this epic battle. Whoa, okay. So we're gonna keep hacking away. Go for the the eyeballs. He doesn't seem to really like that. I think that if you do enough damage on them, he won't be able to really attack you. So it's kind of nice that the game gives you the opportunity to pick up more spicy sprays because we're gonna need it. Yeah, this thing has a ton of HP. My goodness. And we still have <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that we, we still have Pikmin that are trying to uh you know do their diligence. Oh, and we built the bucket. <laughs> we built the bucket in the meantime in the middle of this epic fight. This is this is absurd. The juxtaposition of this is very silly. We're having a very aggressive visit to a red lobster, as half of our Pikmin are still trying to be craftsmen. I appreciate that. So we're visiting a Home Depot and a red lobster all at the same time. I'm more of a Lowe's guy myself, but don't worry about that. Okay, so if our other half of our Pikmin who are making this battle take exceptionally long. If you could all work together, it's really frustrating that this crustacean jerk. Oh, Charlie, you're being a negative Nancy right now. We're doing just fine. We've lost some Pikmin, but we're doing okay. It's all about just attacking his eyeballs. He hates that. He can see how much he hates it. So once you attack his eyeballs, then he's weak. But I think we're gonna still try to use the spicy spray because he has so much HP. I don't know if we're actually doing any damage to him this way. It doesn't appear as though that's actually working. So I might have to like throw, I might have to throw the Pikmin onto his soft underbelly. Okay, that was rude. So get his, get his eyes guys, as you can see. All right, so I think that that might be part of what my problem is, is that I'm not, yeah. So this fight probably could have ended a lot sooner if I would have known that. Okay, so that was me wasting a lot of time because I'm dumb. So anyway, mini boss fight done. I mean, it was exciting at least, right? Sometimes incompetence is, incompetence is more exciting than anything else, you know? What's life without a little luster, a little spectacle? And me just failing at how to fight basic enemies. But hey, we completed the... Uh, the porcelain pot, so we love pot. And you know what, that kind of work, you get high off that kind of work. It just shows how effective we are. Okay, so we're gonna need all three of our captains for this. I don't entirely know what sort of Pikmin we need, but we're gonna throw Charlie, and we're also gonna throw Alf, and we're just gonna load him up with the blues. As far as I know, these are all that we're gonna need. It'd be really nice if there was a way that you could charge all of a certain type of Pikmin onto, you know, the subdivision like you're trying to obviously do. But, oh! <laughs> okay, well you can very easily fall off the pot, so that was just a waste. Thanks, game. I didn't know that. And now I'm going the wrong way. See, I'm just- the game has flustered me beyond repair. I'm just being a big old doofus. Okay. Okay, and I, that's, that, I think that says that we didn't lose any Pikmin, I think. So, that's pretty cool. And we will need Brittany over here to gather up the remaining everybody, because we can't throw Alf without having somebody to whip him into shape. Yeah. So we'll throw a good portion of blues, maybe not all of them so I don't waste the remaining time here. And we will stand on top, we will stand tall on top of our pot. And we will throw Charlie. Oh, it looks like we need rock Pikmin. Oh, yeah, we do. I see. Oh. And there's there's our onion booty friend over here. There it is. No, no, no. I don't think so. Nope. That, uh... This guy's actually kind of... I don't know if we could kill him. Maybe with a spicy spray? We'll try it. We will try it. No, stop it. Yeah! Ooh, and it comes with a fruit! Last time it was a lime, this time it is an avocado. But it appears that we can't do much with this because the bridge is stuck, so... That's unfortunate. We will have to... retool our efforts. We can still go for this pellet posy in the moment. 
and read this data file. The Pikmin song. When you take 20 of each type of Pikmin out on an expedition, they'll sing, so they'll sometimes sing a cheerful tune. I tried to sing along once and they all went silent. Guess they didn't appreciate my singing voice. I'll have to practice more during tomorrow's shower. Captain Olimar. Captain Olimar? Ever the oral aficionado with his beautiful singing voice. Okay, so literally everything is being stuck right now. So we will leave the blue Pikmin there. We'll actually have Alf go and get some rocks because apparently that's what we need to build the bridge. There's not much we can do without that. And unfortunately, the blue onion now is no longer present in the area that it was before. So we're going to have to... We have 100 Pikmin. So we'll put away some of the blues and we'll grab we'll grab 15 rocks. Hopefully that should be enough. Should have I underestimated the value of having a diverse team, so that was my fault. Diversity to conquer adversity. Ew. So it's you know, it always helps to do that. And uh we'll actually need Charlie to come back because in order to do this puzzle. Well, maybe not. No, no, no. I think we can just get by. Nope, we have to have everybody. So Charlie can come back. And with the blues, anyway. We're in the way of doing that. You have to have everybody. This is why this puzzle is kind of a bit of a butt. I guess we could we could have used winged Pikmin. But we do need rocks anyway. We'll hopefully be able to throw all of them without causing them to drown. So I'm be very careful here. And then we will throw Elf. And we will throw Brittany this time. And we'll throw some winged Pikmin to see if they could carry the the fruit while we're trying to build the bridge. We can split them up a little bit. And then we'll switch. Okay. And we will toss a captain across. We'll toss across. And we'll throw everybody else. It's cute watching the kind of rock Pikmin bounce away. So we'll send everybody with Brittany for the remaining time. And she can... Collect our spoils here. Looks like we got some plenty of stuff to carry. We'll have the winged Pikmin. No, no, guys. It's adorable that you're trying it, but you know this is what you're meant to do. But we do have this bridge that can be completed, or partially completed, with everybody else here. Very good. So yeah, this is just this is just another kind of a complication that it wants you to play around with. There's more pieces here, which is very good. And it looks like there is a ground butthole for you to potentially get what I would assume is, um, oh, well, this is danger. We don't want to go, no, 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 no. That might be a, uh, an area of consequence. So I'm trying to figure out where the remaining pieces are. This bridge is almost done. And thankfully, we were able to clear out the fruit that was over there. So it's not really a huge issue with what we're trying to do now. Well, let's check the co-pad and see if there's any more bundles of goodies around. It always helps to just kind of sift through your surroundings. They've almost got the avocado back. That looks like a turd kind of just hanging out. Looks like we could have a little bit of something something over there with our blues. So let's switch to... At, wait, who has the... Okay, the blues are with Charlie. I forgot for a moment. I was like, where are those heckin' boys? Okay. So I think if we could have... Oh, if we could get stuck on the geometry of the of the level. Apparently that's what exactly is going to happen. Okay. So they finally brought the avocado back. Or uh, avocado or avocado if you're incapable of saying words. All right, so we can use the, hopefully the pinks. Oh, uh, do we not, are we really missing a pink to be able to do, oh my goodness. That is infuriating. Oh my. I just, I'm just shocked that we, how this happened. I almost threw a rock into there. I just don't know where. I'm assuming they're back at the Drake, but I don't remember that even being a thing. So that is very unfortunate. We're not able to progress and find more of our delicious bridge. Be oh, okay. Hi, guys. Thanks for carrying everything and whatnot, but I need you. 
for a specific task, your job is to lift stuff up and you're going to like it. You do your job and you don't complain. That sounds a little aggressive, right? That's not very nice. I don't actually mean that, Pink Pikmin. Don't worry. I love you very much. Okay, gate lifted. And we'll go ahead and whistle them off. Nope. I did the exact opposite I wanted to do. I guess I can just take the, the winged pigment with me. They won't drown, which is nice. Blues and pinks are kind of complimentary in that way. So, we're going to come up here and... It looks like this is a clipboard that can be lifted by the pinks. Which is nice. Ooh, there's a fruit in there. Another fruit. So, while we're not going to make as much progress in the realm of... Ooh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like another one of those citrus lumps, or maybe that's a, a low quadrant, come quadrant, something like that. And when, it's nice that they put a little ramp in there, so your Pikmin, your Pikmin aren't going to be trapped or anything. It's very considerate of the game to not try to aggressively murder your Pikmin at every stop, shockingly. And this just loops around back to the lobster butthole that we dealt with before. So yeah, that's pretty good. So far, so good. I believe Alf has the remaining Pikmin. And I think that... I think this bridge got built, so... We can whistle our pinks back. It's very nice. There's a blue that just hangs out. That's sometimes what can get be a little frustrating about this game. Is the geometry. Sometimes the physics will get in the way and you'll... Oh, I did not build a bridge. I thought I did. The game had me all kinds of excited and it lied to me. Okay. So Brittany has the rocks. We recovered three fruit today, even though we're not gonna be able to have probably have time to build this bridge, which is unfortunate. I don't this is this is danger. So this is not where we want to be. That is potentially a place where you'd fight something nasty. Something nasty. Maybe. I don't know. But we're going to actually, actually, we're going to actually leave Brittany here in the safety of the whistle because I don't want to risk drowning my rock Pikmin because as you guys have seen before, I'm really good at that. So one of the things I am going to want to do, though, in the very near future is continue to get spicy spray because I maxed out all the remaining spicy spray I had. And I currently don't have any more. So and we have one stray Pikmin. Who in their heckin' mind is hanging out and not with us? I don't even know. All right, Alf, go and go in and go on a go on a whistle party. I have no idea where that Pikmin would be. I don't even know how they got stuck. Usually with the copad, you can kind of zoom in and oh, it looks like there's a blue one just over here hanging out. He's just having a good time. So we'll send Alf there to go take care of that. That's the nice part about splitting up is, you know, you can subdivide your ways and whatnot. But yeah, you know, we made a little bit of progress. So Alf can go ahead and find his little buddy, his forlorn friend. And we can see where those remaining bridge pieces are. We're missing some of the blue bridge pieces. This is the puzzle we actually were a part of in one of the earlier episodes where I kind of wasted some time, but we'll come back and do this now that we have yellows. So that's fun. I don't know. We'll have to come back and finish the bridge in the preceding episodes after this one, but just a nice little nostalgic walk, a little jaunt through the Garden of Hope as we try to find our way. These are the turd burglars that we've dealt with in the past. It's just kind of nice how the game sets it up like this, how progressively you can get more access to different locations and how it opens up and expands. It's kind of like in the same vein as like a, uh, a Metroid game, where as you get power-ups, as you get stronger, different abilities, you're able to progress and open up new areas and whatnot. I think that's a really nice touch and, you know, it's really fun just to kind of wander around and see what places that you weren't able, able to use before and you know, explore. Like, we're just going back and just seeing all these places that we've been before. It's a little blast of the past. A blast from the past, however you, whatever that phrase is, I don't know. 
We're just wandering around. We're having a good time. We're doing a little dilly-dallying. Life's too short not to dilly-dally, folks. Okay? Get your dillies. Get your dallies. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay? And that is certainly a day. I would have liked to have done more had I figured out how to kill that lobster sooner, but I totally whiffed on that one. It's soft, delicious underbelly. I decided that I was going to try to attack its outer shell, which was clearly not effective. But yeah, that's a day. We still were able to recover some fruit, so that's not, you know, something to be ashamed of. And we're a little bit closer to finding where that hookitation went off to steal our stuff. That Captain Olimar fellow. Being all greedy and stuff, we don't like that. Greedy Gus. But I believe we've had all of these fruits before. We have another one of these apricots, Japanese apricots. Got an avocado. Maybe put that on a California roll, perhaps. The scaly custard. I actually really do like custard. There's a local place in my area that sells custard and it's delicious in lieu of ice cream. Um, no, I shouldn't really have it, but hey, who eats their own? Sometimes you just gotta punish yourself for delicious treats. And then I believe this is the low quat or kumquat or something like that for our final fruit of the day. Getting a little bit of a comeback on our buffer of juice, so that's very nice. Okay. So we will continue to aggressively pursue the hokitation as bounty hunters do to get back our spoils. But in the meantime, We're going to have increased our hoard a little bit. And we are going to hear a message from Elf. After observing the red Pikmin, I've come to the conclusion that they're actually fully resistant to fire. They also appear to be extremely ferocious fighters, despite their appearance. They remind me of the captain in that way. Signed, Elf. Yeah, it's kind of weird that like the musings of this game as you play, I don't know if these are like preset or if these are like RNG dependent, but you know, them discussing Red Pikmin on day 19. Come on, man. This is child's play. This is elementary elf. We don't have time for that. But what we do have time for, as we always do, is the save screen. Thanks for joining me, everybody. This is Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.